The last Thursday in the year 2021, I want you to bless God from your heart. Today is the last Thursday. This Thursday, you will never meet it again in your entire life. I want you to open your heart and say something to God. Any word that you can use to praise God, use that word. Any word that you can speak to magnify God, speak it. Anything that you can say to make God know that you are grateful, say it this moment. Anything that you can do, even if you can roll yourself on the ground to show gratitude to God, do it. Today is 30th. 30th December. 30th December. 2021. This day will never come again. This season will not come again. We cannot reverse this time again. Give thanks to God that you are alive to witness such a day. Bless God that He has given you the privilege to live to see 30th December because somebody died yesterday. Somebody died yesterday. Somebody couldn't get access to see today. Somebody wished to get access to say, Father, give me the chance to see 30th December. You and your family is alive. You and your family is alive. Give thanks to God. Open your mouth and bless God. What shall I say unto you? Your goodness and mercy. Let us go boldly before the throne of worship. Let us go boldly before the throne of worship. For he deserves to be praised. He deserves to be honored. He is the ancient of days. He is the one that says it that comes to pass. He is the provider. He is the one that has provided for us. When we started 2021, there was no hope. The year 2020, generally, all hope was gone. All hope was gone. Many started the year in tears. They never had hope that one day they would smile. But you are alive today. God has made you forget everything that happened in January. God has strengthened you. You've been able to overcome every challenges that came your way in January. You are still alive this season. You are still alive to magnify God. You are still alive to bless his name. Open your mouth and say a word to God. Open your mouth and say something to him. Magnify him. For he is worthy of our worship. He is worthy of our praises. He is worthy. He deserves everything. He deserves only you, O oh Lord. Only you, Abba Father. Only you, King of King. Only you, Lord of Lord. Only you is worthy. We bless your name. We lift your name on high. We say glory be to you, Lord. We say glory be to you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I want you to begin to confess your sins. I want you to begin to confess your sins. The word of God said, if he says we have not sinned, we make him a liar. Then his word is not in us. But if you confess our sins, 
He is faithful and just to forgive us. If you confess our sins, he is righteous to forgive us. If you confess our sins, oh, he will just forgive you. Confess it. Just open your mouth and let him know you have regretted. Of everything that you have done against him. From January to now. Forgive us, O oh Lord. Forgive your people, O oh Lord. Forgive your people, O oh Lord. Open your mouth and ask God to forgive you. Ask God to forgive you. Ask God to forgive you. Everything that you have done. From January to now. From January to now. You have a chance. You have a chance to cry to God, to amend you, to help you, to walk out of it. Open your mouth and ask God to forgive you. Open your mouth and ask God to forgive you everything that you have done. Confess before him. He said, if you confess, he will forgive. If you regret of doing such a thing, he will forgive. If you come to the realization that you have offended God, he will forgive you. If you will humble yourself this moment and say, God, forgive me. He is faithful and righteous. He will forgive you and your sins will never be remembered again. Open your mouth and communicate with God. Communicate with him this season. Communicate with him this hour. Open your mouth, say something to him. Forgive us all our sins. Forgive us the sins of our children. Forgive us the sins of our family members. The sins of our parents. The sins of our siblings. Forgive us, O oh Lord. Forgive us, O oh Lord. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. We are praying for discernment, Lord. To be able to discern. Many of you no longer dream again. Many of you, you wake up, you forget your dreams. Many of you can't sense when something is about to happen. That sensitivity is not there. Sensitivity is not there. You don't dream. Your dream life is dead. You can't play. Your prayer life is dead. We are crying to God. Father, ignite the fire in me again. Father, ignite, ignite, ignite the fire, the fire. Bring the fire in me once again. Let me be able to discern like the men of Issachar. Like the men of Issachar. Help me to be able to discern. Help me to be able to discern like the men of Issachar. Oh Lord, like the men of Issachar, oh Lord, help me to be able to discern, discern what is ahead of me, discern what is ahead of my children, discern what is ahead of my family. Help me, oh Lord, fill me with your discernment spirit, fill me with your power to pray, your power to meditate, your power to study your word, the understanding and wisdom in your word. Father, give me wisdom, grant me wisdom, grant me wisdom, open my spiritual sight, open my my spiritual sight activate my spiritual senses the senses that is dead the senses that has broken down the senses that is not working the senses that cannot sense father activate it once again activate it once again activate my spiritual senses activate my spiritual senses let my heart begin to perceive let my mind begin to reason let my heart begin to connect connect to you oh lord connect to you oh lord connect to you oh lord oh Open your mouth and say, Lord God Almighty, activate my prayer life, activate my dream life, my dream life that is dead, the dream life that I cannot dream again. Activate it, oh Lord, wherever that they have brought me, whatever they are using to cover my sight, to prevent me from seeing. To prevent me from seeing afar. Oh God of heaven. Activate it again. Activate it again. I receive your discernment spirit. I receive your discernment spirit. Help me to be able to discern. Like the men of Issachar. Discerning of the times and the season. Help me to be able to discern. The time and the season that we are in. The time and the season that we are in. The discernment spirit oh Lord. Help me to be able to discern oh Lord. Help me to be able to discern, oh Lord. Fill me with your fire as you're about to end this year. 
Your fire to work for you in the year 2022. Your fire to be relevant. Your grace to be relevant in every realms of my life. I receive grace to be relevant in marriage. I receive grace to be relevant in marriage. I receive grace. Open your mouth and declare after me. I receive grace to be relevant in marriage because the year that we are about to enter, many of you will be irrelevant in marriage. So your husband will dump you and go. Open your mouth and make this declaration. Help me to be irrelevant. Help me to be relevant in every department of my life. In my working place, help me to be relevant to my boss. Help me to be, to be relevant to my managers. Help me to be useful. Useful. When we talk about being relevant, you be useful. Wherever people need you, people need your service. People need your access. People need you wherever you go. That is the relevancy that we are praying to God that help me to be relevant in every department that I found myself. Every where that I found myself. In marriage, help me to be relevant. In business, help me to be relevant. In ministry, in acting, every department, Lord God Almighty, help me to be relevant. Help me to be relevant. Help me to be relevant. In the name of Jesus Christ, many start well, but the spot of incompletion grab them along the way. When we talk about the spirit of incompletion, it's a spirit that helps people to start something, but it doesn't help them to complete it says power that discourage people in the middle of the journey of uh, the journey they are, they are embarking when they go to the middle that spirit of incompletion and the spirit of discouraging it filled them and they lose hope and lose confidence in everything that they are doing i want us to pray and ask god we are praying to god lord god almighty Give me the finishing grace to finish everything that I have started. The finishing anointing to finish everything that I have started. I receive a finishing grace as you're about to finish this year. Lord God Almighty, I receive finishing grace. I receive finishing grace to finish well, to finish well, to finish my project, to finish the kingdom business, to finish everything that I am doing in you. Oh God, give me the finishing finishing grace. Oh Lord, give me the finishing grace. Oh Lord, I receive the finishing grace, the finishing grace to finish the race well, to finish the race, to finish the race, the finishing grace, the finishing anointing, the finishing strength, the finishing power, the finishing courage. I receive it now. I receive it now. The finishing grace, the finishing courage, the finishing power, the finishing anointing, the finishing oil, let it follow me, 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 let it follow me. Say, Lord God Almighty, as you're about to end this year, Father, end every trouble in my life. As you're about to end this year, Father, end every battles in my life. As you're about to end this year, Lord, end every challenges in my life, end every complications, end every battles, end every sorrow, end every pain, end every rejection and every disappointment as you're about to end this year oh god visit me visit me and end every problem that i'm going through every problem that i'm going through every battle that i've been fighting every battle of backwardness every battle of rejection every battle of jealousy every battle of accusation rooted in jealousy rooted in anger rooted in envy as you're about to end this year, oh Lord, oh God, let this thing end, let it end, let it end, let it end. Somebody open your mouth and pain as you're about to end this year, oh God of my salvation, God of my fathers, God of Abraham, God of Isaac, God of Jacob, oh, end everything rooted in jealousy, end everything rooted in jealousy, rooted in envy, rooted in hatred in my life. In in my life, let that battle come to an end. Let that battle come to an end. Let that battle come to an end. In the name of Jesus Christ, end every sickness, end every sorrow, end every pain, end every pain, end every rejection, end every backwardness, backwardness in life, backwardness in ministry, backwardness in business. End it, oh Lord. Let it come to an end. Kararabu, zebra and day. Let it come to an end. 
as you're about to end this year, oh Lord. Mm. 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 Let it come to an end. Let that confusion in my family come to an end. As you're about to end this year, oh Lord, end the rejection, end the struggling, end the financial difficulties, end the financial crisis, the financial crisis, end this joblessness, end this unemployment in my family, in my home, in my destiny. End it, oh Lord. End it, oh Lord. End it, oh Lord. As you're about to end this year, let every challenges be brought under my feet. Let every challenges be brought under my feet. Let my enemies be brought under my feet. Let my accusers be brought under my feet. Let my op 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 opponent, let them be brought under my feet in the name of Jesus Christ. Let those that are seeking the downfall of me and my children, the downfall of me and my family, the downfall of me and my family, let them be brought low. Let let them be brought low. Let them be brought low. Let them be brought low. Those that are seeking to destroy me. Those that are seeking to, to collapse my business. Those that are seeking to tarnish my reputation. Those that are seeking to assassinate my character. Father, let them be put under my feet. Open your mouth and pray. Let them be put under my feet. Let them be put under my feet. Let them be put under my feet. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let them be put under my feet. It. Those planning, those planning to assassinate my character, assassinate my reputation. Those that have come together to disgrace me, to shame me, to close doors, to silence me, to silence my voice, to shut the door, to prevent me from going through while people are going. Oh Lord, let all these forces and powers, let all these entities be put under my feet, be put under my feet. Be put under my feet. Be put under my feet. Let my enemies be put under my feet. Let my accusers be put under my feet. Let the destroyers and the killers of my destiny, the killers of my children's destiny, the killer of my light, the killer of my star, in the name of Jesus Christ, let them be put under my foot, under my foot, under my foot, under my foot, under my foot. Under my foot. I step on them. 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 Let them be put under my feet. I step on them. Let them be brought under my feet. I step on them. He they pray and them. I step on them. Let them be praised under my feet. Under my feet. Under my feet. Let the table be set. <laughs> In front of me, in the presence of all these my accusers, set a table, oh Lord, as you did for David. Set a table, oh Lord, in the in front of me, in the presence of my accusers in my working place, accusers in marriage, accusers in, in business. Oh my God, sabotages, people that are sabotaging me, people that are assess assassinating my character in my working place. Lay a table, place a table in front of me, in the presence of them, in the presence of them. Set the table in front of me, in the presence of my enemies, in the presence of the informant, in the presence of the accusers, in the presence of my persecutors. Set the table for me, O oh Lord. Set the table for me, O oh Lord. Set the table for me, O oh Lord. Let them be brought to shame. 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 Let them fall. Let them be arrested in their own devices in the name of Jesus Christ. According to Job, the book of Job, chapter 5, verses number 12. Job chapter 5, verses number 12. The Bible says he disappointed the devices of the crafty. He disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. I want you to declare, Lord God Almighty, as you're about to end this year, disappoint the devices of all those that has been fighting me from generally to now so that their hands cannot perform any enterprise disappoint the devices of my enemies disappoint the devices 
of my accusers disappoint the devices of my persecutors disappoint the devices of those that are big on my head those devising my head disappoint them disappoint them disappoint them scatter their devices disappoint them disappoint them disappoint their devices oh lord oh disappoint the devices of the crafting so that their hands cannot perform any enterprise so that their hands cannot perform anything that they programmed against me so that they will never prevail in any meeting that they've got, they have concerning my destiny concerning my next level concerning my blessing concerning my, my, my elevation father disappoint them lord disappoint them somebody I want you to pray with confidence with confidence that God is going to disappoint the meeting they had yesterday night oh my god the meeting they, they had yesterday night, <laughs> the agenda that they raised, the, 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 the propaganda of your enemies. Oh my God, God is going to disappoint them. If you open your mouth and pray this moment, if you pray with seriousness, if you pray with seriousness, if you pray with seriousness, God is going to disappoint them. Open your mouth and declare, disappoint, 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 disappoint the devices of the crafting so that their hands can never perform any enterprise in the year 2022 against my destiny, against my marriage, against my ministry, against my career, against my next level, against my promotion. Disappoint them. Disappoint them. Disappoint them. Disappoint them. Disappoint them. Disappoint them from the north. Those that have got it conspiring about you. Those that have vowed not to let you smile. Those that have vowed not to see you progressing. Oh Lord God of heaven, disappoint their devices. Oh Lord God of heaven, disappoint their devices. Those secretly making enchantment, calling your name. Those witch hunters, hunting your destiny, hunting your fame, hunting your position, hunting every good thing in your life. Let them be disappointed. Let them be disappointed in the year 2022 concerning my destiny, oh Lord. Concerning the life of my children, oh Lord. Concerning my promotion, oh Lord. Concerning my next level, oh Lord. Concerning the next level of my children. Disappoint our enemies. Disappoint them, oh Lord. Disappoint them, oh Lord. Disappoint them, oh Lord. Disappoint them, oh Lord. Let them not prevail. Let them not succeed. Let them not progress in anything that they have they've programmed against me. In anything that they've issued against me. In anything that they planned against me. In the year 2022, the one they planned against my children. The one they planned against your husband. The one they planned against your marriage. The one they planned against your promotion. The position you occupy in your working place. Oh my God. Oh my God. Disappoint them. 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 Those that are jubilating about your current situation. <laughs> Those that are happy because you don't have food to eat. Oh my God. Those that are happy because you don't have food to eat. Those that are celebrating because you don't have clothes to wear, because you are not in a you, you are broken down, because you are broken down, those celebrating, those jubilating, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, Psalm 35, verses number 26. Share the broadcast if you have not shared. Psalm 35, verses number one, and you read the, the verse number 26. Psalm 35, verse number 1. It said, Plead my cause, O Lord, with them that strive with me. Plead my cause, O Lord, with them that strive with me. Fight against them that fight against me. I want somebody to open the mouth and say, Fight against them that is fighting against me. Fight against them that is fighting against the destiny of my children. Fight against them that is fighting against my marriage. Fight against them that is fighting against my mantle, my anointing, my next level, the seat I occupy. Fight against them that are fighting me oh lord in ministry fight against them that are fighting me oh lord in business fight against them
them that are fighting me in my community, in my community, in my family house, among my siblings, among my auntie's children, my father's brother's children. Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, fight against them that are fighting against me. Fight against them that are fighting against me. Fight against them that are fighting against me. Strive with them, oh Lord. Hey. Strive with them. Strive with them. The verse number three says, draw out also the fear. Draw out the fear and stop the way against them that persecute me. Draw your sphere. Bring the double-edged sword. Put the double-edged sword in my hands in the year 2022. Father, pull it out. Bring out the sphere. Bring out the sphere. Father, go after them with your sphere. Father, go after them with your weapon. Father, go after them with the double-edged sword. Go after them wherever they are that they are persecuting me. Wherever they are that they are attacking me. Wherever they are that they are Blocking me wherever they are, that they want to silence me wherever they are, that they want to kill the seed of greatness in me, the seed of greatness, the seed of greatness, the seed of greatness. Let Kabian then, Makapaya Dosam, Len Dorobo, Masun Diamond, Zobrokotol, Yantama Makapa, fight against them on my behalf. Yesterday, the Lord showed me something. Yesterday night, the Lord showed me something. I saw a seed. I saw the heart. The heart is designed like avocado seed. It was like a seed germinating in a heart. Inside the heart of somebody was prayed. And the Lord has placed a seed, avocado seed. I saw the seed to be avocado seed. And it has germinated and it, it, it is up. You know, it, is, it has germinated. You can see that it, it has started growing. And I, I was asking, what is the meaning of this? And the Lord was telling me, this is what we call the seed of greatness. The seed of greatness that, has, that God has implanted in the heart of man. When you study the Bible, according to Jeremiah, Chapter 1, verse number 4 to 5. God Almighty said, Before I formed you in the mother's womb, I knew you. So anybody under the sound of my voice, before God formed you, God knew you. Hallelujah. According to Genesis, you were born naked, but you were not born empty. There is something in you that needs to come out. There is some potential in you that needs to come out. Many of our members that I have seen, pregnant, heavily pregnant, and this is is the seed of greatness that need to come out. Oh my God. Somebody didn't hear. This is the seed of greatness. I have seen more than six people, six of our members that are heavily pregnant. They are heavily pregnant. The seed of greatness, the potential hidden in you. I want you to lift up your voice and say, Lord God Almighty, bring out, bring out the rare person in me, the seed of greatness. The year 2022, let the seed of greatness, my God, let people seize it. Let it begin to manifest in my life. The great seed, the seed of greatness, what you restored in me, what you have kept in me, what you are hidden in me. Father, let it manifest what you have called me to come and do. The potential, the assignment, the purpose. Oh my God, my God, my God, my God, my God. Let it manifest. Let it manifest. Let the seed, the potential in me right now. Let it manifest. Let it manifest. Let it manifest. Let it manifest. Let the hidden seed that is supposed to manifest in my life, in your children's life. Let it manifest. Let it manifest. Let every potential, hidden potential, hidden idea, hidden talent, hidden gift in you, my God. Let it come out. Let it come out. Let it come out. The year 2022. Declare, Lord God Almighty. The year 2022. I will be a voice. I want you to declare with faith and confidence, with courage and power. I will be a voice. The year 2022, I will be a voice in every department of my life. I will be a voice. I will never be an echo. I refuse to be 
an echo. I refuse to be an echo. I will be a voice. I will be a voice. I will be a voice. A voice unto nation. A voice of our generation. A voice unto generation. I will be a voice. The year 2022. I refuse to be an echo. I will never be an echo. I will never be silenced. Nobody can silence me in marriage. I declare. Nobody can silence me in business. I declare. Nobody can silence me in politics. I declare. Nobody can silence me in academic. I declare. Nobody can silence me. My God. In every realms of my life, I will shine. 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 I declare upon your life, every realms of your life in the year 2022, you will shine. 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 Your stars, it will shine. Your stars, it will shine. Your stars, it will shine. The year 2022, I declare, you will never be an echo. You are going to be a voice. You will be a voice. A voice unto generation. A voice unto generation. She will be a voice. She will never be an echo. In the name of Jesus Christ. So whatever my voice has been silenced. Let my voice be amplified. Wherever my voice has been silenced, let it be amplified. Wherever they've silenced my voice, let my voice be amplified. Let it be amplified. Let it be amplified. Let my voice be amplified. Let my voice be amplified. Let nations hear of me. Let cities hear of me. Let races hear of me. Let nations hear of me. Let kings hear of me. Let president hear of me. Let anybody that is supposed to hear what you have bestowed in me, let them hear of me. Let my voice be heard. Raise a John the Baptist for me. Somebody to announce me. Somebody to announce my business. Somebody to announce my ministry. Somebody to announce me. Father, connect me to somebody that will announce my ministry. That will announce my business. That will announce me. Ah, anybody on earth, you need a John the Baptist to go before you to announce your ministry. To introduce you. She will need just one connection to connect you to one person and that will be your open door and that will be your breakthrough. You need a certain man. In life, everybody, you are destiny with a destiny help. In life, everybody on earth, you are destiny with a certain man that will show up in your life. And things to begin to flow. Things to begin to go on well. You need somebody to connect, to announce the, 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 the good thing, the potential that God has restored in you. Today, tonight, this moment, this season, I announce wherever your connectors are, wherever the announcers of your destiny are, wherever the promoters are, wherever those that will do introduction are, I call their ministry, I call their ministry from the north, from the south, from the east, from the west, let them connect, 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 let them connect in the name of Jesus Christ. Say, Lord God Almighty, the year 2022. This prayer that we are praying today, we are praying ahead of 2022. It is not 2021 prayers. We are praying ahead of us. You know, I keep telling you, we must be like the men of of Issachar to be able to discern while people are busy praying for today we must busy go ahead of them to scatter what they have built to scatter to clear the way so when it is time for us to go we will not have any hindrances you will not have any obstacle no problem will counter us nothing will block us like the men of Issachar help us to be able to discern we are praying the year 2022 Father, disconnect me from anybody that is pulling me backward without my notice. Disconnect me from wrong companies, wrong associations, wrong associations. Anybody in my life that 
did that does not deserve to go to the year 2022 with me father disconnect me from them anybody that is not supposed to follow me to 2022 father disconnect that person anybody that is supposed that is not supposed to follow your son your daughter to the year 2022 father disconnect me from them lord disconnect me from them father disconnect my children disconnect me disconnect me from every wrong association that will kill my career that will kill my destiny that will kill my prayer life that would destroy my anointing that would defy me that would tarnish my image that would assassinate my character because when you connect yourself with evil authors when you connect yourself with evil people wrong people wrong 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 company they assassinate your character they assassinate your character they kill your destiny they try to silence you there are some friends that you see them as friends. They see you as a competitor. There are people that you call them friends. You take them to care about them. How are you doing? Oh, have you been able to get what you were looking for? Oh, how is the children? Have the children eat? When they say their children have not eaten, you transfer the little money you have to them. You see them as best friends, but they see you as a competitor. Say, Lord God Almighty, take them away from my life. Take them away from my life. Take them away from my life. Take them away from the life of my husband. Take them away from the life of my wife. Take them away from the life of my children. Anybody in competition with me, Father, separate me and them. Anybody secretly, that is with the spirit of Judas is carried. Finding access to betray me. Finding access to tarnish me. Finding access to sell me out. Hey, Lord God Almighty, release your fire to separate them from my back. Release your fire to separate us as you separated Elijah from Elisha. Hey, when it was time for Elijah to go to the heavenlies, to go when his time was up, Elisha said, I will never let you go alone. I will go with you. So God have to separate them. When God wanted to bless Abraham, Lot was there. Lot was a hindrance. Lot was a, an obstacle. God had to set confusion to separate Lot from Abraham before he bring a blessing. There are some people in your life that needs to walk out of your life for your life to shine. There are some people in your life that needs to separate, that you need to cut them. Cut them. Just divide yourself. Let them take their path. And your light to begin to shine. Maybe you have not discovered them. Today may God expose them. And may God set confusion between you and them. Any wrong partner. No matter means. Whether it is true marriage. Or it is true business or partnership. Or any form of partnership. Any form of partnership that will bring you down in the year 2022. In the name of Jesus Christ, may God separate you and them. May God separate you and them. May God separate you and them. The singles that are planning to enter into marriage, that are planning for marriage in the year 2022. I want you all to pray this prayer point for me. You know, when you marry good, when you marry a rightful partner, when you marry a rightful woman, you've married a prayer partner. When you marry a wrong partner, you've married a prayer point. Listen to me. Listen to me. When you marry wrongly, when you marry enemy, an agent sent from the pit of hell to destroy you, you've married a prayer partner. She will have married the prayer partner because every day you have to cry to God. When we come here, people, we, we are, oh, no, when you are free, you always pray all prayers. But you know, one prayer point, Father, take away this alcoholic from my, my husband. Help my wife to stop cheating. Help my husband to stop cheating. Help this to stop this. You've married a prayer point. So every day you have prayer point to pray. Because separate you. May God separate you from anybody that is a prayer point. Anybody that is a prayer point. May God set confusion between you and that person now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Anybody that is a prayer point coming to collaborate with you. Somebody will come and collaborate with you and kill your career. Somebody will just come as a sheep 
not knowing he's a wolf in a sheep clothing. He will come, she will come and kill your career and kill your destiny. Kill something that you have used ages to build. May God expose them. May the God of Gagal expose them. May the God we serve expose them. May God expose them. May God expose them. May God expose them. May God expose them. Some of these people have taken money. They've taken contract. <laughs> they are on a mission. <laughs> Who can go and deceive <laughs> King Ahab for me? Who can go? The demon said, we can go. How are you going to do it? He said, we, we shall pay to be a false prophet, a false poet in the mouth of those that he listens to. We are going to be a false poet, a lying poet in the mouth of people he trusts. So people you trust, they will begin to lie to you. And you do not know it is lies. You do not know they've sent people to come and deceive. They've taken captive of that, your bestie that advised you. Recently, I released a message in the Lioness Preacher page. A message with the title. Beware of advice that comes out of jealousy. I did it in Ghanaian language. So many of you, you saw that it, it went viral. It, it went afar. It, it went afar. I think it had almost 50k views. That video. And you know, it was my life experience with human being. When it was time for me to marry. When we were best friends moving together. A man came. A very gorgeous, God-fearing man came to my life. I went and explained it to my children, my, my best friends. They started giving me counseling. They turned to be a counselor by force. They were giving me sharing experiences. My grandmother said this. My grandfather said this. Don't do it. Don't accept this man. Let this man go. I listened to their foolish advice. I ran away from this man. And I went and took somebody. That will not even sleep and remember me. Not even my children. I waiting for somebody that will not even remember me. Not even my children. The prayer partner that came based on advice that I received from friends. I allowed the prayer partner to go. And I went in for prayer points. Any advice rooted in jealousy in your life, in the name of Jesus Christ, let it be uprooted. Any advice rooted in jealousy in your life that you have received and you are as you've accepted it in the name of Jesus Christ, let it be uprooted. Let it be uprooted. Let it be uprooted. Anybody around you that is pretending to be a counselor, that is pre pretending to be a manager by force. You know, people plan, they, they manage to be your manager while you've not even invited them. People manage to draw themselves to mingle with you. You don't need them, but they struggle to be with you. And they'll be giving you counseling. They'll be giving you advices. Many of these advices are from jealousy because they do not want you to move afar. There are a group of people, when you are in pain, they, 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 they are with you. When you are down, it, they pretend as if they love you. When you don't have clothes to wear, they pretend as if they love you. When you don't have food to feed your children, they pretend as if they love you. As soon as they, they begin to see the transformation in your life, when they begin to see the breakthrough in your life, when they begin to see the elevation, they begin to jealous. May God expose them. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. I call them the evangelist. The evangelist. Buy a new clothes and see. Work with them. When you are all wearing one slippers, you are all the same. They don't have problem. When you don't have food to eat, they don't have problem. When you don't have clothes to wear, they feel all right being with you because you are broke. Because you are down, because they are higher than you, they feel all right to move with you, they feel all right to associate with you, they feel comfortable to invite you wherever they go. But let them begin to see that you are rising, let them begin to see that you are wearing new clothes, let them begin to see that your husband is treating you well. It is there you know that you are with evangelist. 
It is there you know that the envy jealous that are pretending they are the people. Envy jealous. There were people that used to call me to encourage me. There were people that used to support me when I was down. When I was down. When they saw the little transformation that now I'm smiling, my face is good, uh, everything is moving on for me, they, they tend to be my enemy. They no longer even share my post. They no longer even speak to me. May God expose them earlier. May, may you never fall into their trap. May you never fall into their trap. May you never fall into their trap. May their plans concerning your destiny never work. Psalm 35 verse 26. Share the broadcast, please. Share the broadcast. Share the broadcast for me, please. If you have not shared, share for me. Psalm 35 verse 26. It said, let them be ashamed and brought to confusion together. That rejoice at my health. Those that are rejoicing at my health. There are people they will pretend that say, oh, you know, God give it, God take it, glory be to God. Meanwhile, within their heart, they are jubilating. These are the people that the psalmist is talking about them. Oh, it shall be well. You are not the only person that your husband has left you. You are not the only single mother. But within their heart, they are rejoicing that your husband has left you. Within their heart, they are rejoicing that you've been sacked from your working place and now you are jobless. You go, you go with them to smoke together. You go with them to drink together. You go with them to so many places together. But as soon as you get fired in your work, as soon as they fire you and you remain jobless, they jubilate. They rejoice. They rejoice. He said, let them be ashamed. Let them be ashamed and be brought to confusion. Together they rejoice at my health. Let them be clothed with shame and dishonor that magnify themselves against me. The people that are magnifying themselves against me. The people that are jubilating against me. Let them be clothed with shame and confusion. In the name of Jesus Christ. The people that are magnifying themselves. Claim we have this you don't have. Ah, we own our own house you don't have. We have our own bungalow you don't have. We have our own car you don't have. Those magnifying themselves upon your life. We have our, uh, oh, oh, we, are, we have a high paying job. Oh. We, we no longer mingle with low class people. We no longer associate with jobless. People that are this in your life, may they be brought to shame. 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 Wherever they are, may God elevate you. May God elevate you. May the transformation wind that is moving at the end of this year, may that wind ah blow in your home, transform your life, transform your financial life, transform your health, transform your marriage transform your business transform every realms of your life if you believe shout yes oh my god oh my god the transformation wind it is blowing the transformation wind it is blowing when i talk about the transformation wind it's a wind that will transform you that your enemies will see you and they'll bow their head in shame it's a wind that when it blows in your life, when it enters your home, it transfers from head to toe, from your marital life to your financial life. It transfers you. Let this wind enter your tabernacle. Let this wind blow in your tabernacle. Let this wind wipe away every sorrow, every pain, every hardship, every poverty, difficulties, struggling in getting things down. Let it wipe away from your home. Let it wipe away from your home let this wind wipe away wipe away intimidations and frustrations let it wipe away intimidation and frustration from your home abuse marital crisis marital crisis let the wind of transformation enter your home now let the wind of transformation enter your tabernacle the wind of transformation let it blow in your tabernacle and bring joy and bring joy and bring happiness instead of grievance instead of sadness let the opposite occur let the opposite occur let the opposite occur 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Instead of poverty, instead of hardship, let there be financial breakthrough. Let the opposite okay in your life. Let the opposite okay in your destiny. Let the opposite okay in your marriage. That marital crisis, it is coming to an end. It is coming to an end. That financial crisis, it is coming to an end. The wind. Oh, let the wind of restoration say restoration. Somebody type restoration. Somebody type restoration. I want somebody with faith to type restoration. What I'm coming to talk about is something that I've broken down from your life. Some precious thing that you have lost. Oh my God. Something vital that you lost in the year 2021. As the year is coming to an end. I want you to type restoration. I want you to type restoration. I want somebody with faith. Type restoration. Type restoration. Restoration. As you are typing, God is restoring. That restoration wind is blowing. That restoration wind, it is blowing. It is blowing. As you are typing restoration, my God, let Kabiade, Makapaya Dosa, Len Dorobo, Masun Diama, Zobrokotol, Yan Dama, Makapa, Le and Dama, Makabiade, Makapaya Dosa, Len Dorobo, Masun Diama, Zobrokotol, Yan Dama, Makapa, that restoration wind, it is ah, it is entering your tabernacle right now. That broken marriage is coming together as the restoration wind have entered your home. Ah, everything broken down, everything that has been brought low in your life, it is coming together. It is coming together. It is coming together. It is coming together. I speak prophetically. It is coming together. I speak prophetically. It is coming together. As you are typing restoration, it is restored. It is restored. It is restored it is restored it is restored it is restored your marital life your financial life your health it is restored 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 your academic life hey hey restoration ah let the wind begin to blow let the wind begin to blow let the wind begin to blow restoration ah restoration ah restoration ah that job that was paying you that they've managed to remove you oh my god the seat of greatness that god praise you on my God, the seat of greatness that God praise you on, that they have money to remove you from that seat. Restoration now. I declare restoration now. The seat of greatness. The seat of greatness. The seat of greatness. The seat of greatness that they've money to remove you from that seat. Right now, I declare restoration. 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 From the four corners of this out right now i declare restoration from the four corners from the four corners whatever that they've stolen that is hidden somewhere let it be released as god is restoring let every broken vessels be made together let every stolen blessing stolen wedding ring stolen fame stolen anointing anything that they've stolen the mantle that they've managed to take away from your life i declare restoration i declare restoration I declare restoration. It is coming back. What they took from you. What they took from you. The job that was in your hand. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. The contract that was in your hand. That they took from you. Somebody. The Lord has restored that contract once again. He has restored once again. He has restored. It was not the will of God. Oh. Hey. It wasn't the will of God. It was the will of the enemy. That was planning to remove you from that seat so that you'll be vulnerable so that you you eat under the mercy of them so that you wear under the mercy of them my god hey, the restoration wind he got the bone ah the restoration wind the restoration wind let it restore restore your business those days when you used to 
go to your shop. People used to come. Customers used to come. Now, when you are there, your customers are bypassing. Oh, my God. They are bypassing. They don't even greet you. They don't even see your shop. Let the restoration wind. My God. Bro in front of your working place. Bro in front of your shop. Bro in front of your shop. Right now. He got that double. Ra -ba -ba -ba. Let's cut me again. Maka payadosa. The restoration wind. Right now. Let it bro. 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 Upon the lives of families. Upon the lives of families. Let it bro. In marriages. In the life of our children. Restoration wind. Let it bro. 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 Restoration. 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 Right now. Restoration. Right now. Restoration. Right now. Restoration. Right now. He can't have a bow. Rabababa. See prayer day. Rabababa. Restoration. Restoration. The peace covenant. The peace bond that is broken, that there is no longer peace in your home. Oh my God. There is no longer support in your home. Oh my God. There is no longer affection in your home. Oh my God. Let there be restoration. I declare by power and authority. I declare by power and authority. Let there be restoration. Ah, let the wind blow. Receive that wind. Let the wind blow. Let the wind of restoration. He can the wind of restoration right now let it blow in your home in your home in your working place hey the promotion is supposed to be your turn she was supposed to be promoted. It's like somebody is uh, witch hunting you there. And it's like they don't see your presence. It is that it is like no matter how hard that you struggle to work, they don't even see it. What is covering you there? Let there be restoration in that realm, in that department, in that department. I declare restoration right now. I declare restoration. He can't have a Restoration. He right now. Where they silence you. Ah, receive your voice. Receive your voice. Where your voice have been silenced. Oh, receive it now. 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 Where they've managed to silence you. Hey. Hey, hey, let the voice be restored, 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 be restored in your health. Hey, 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 from January to December, you've been buying medicine, medicine, medicine. All your money is buying hepatitis pills. My God. All your money you are spending on uh, ha uh, high blood pressure medication. All your money, the money that comes in your hand, hear the word of God. Hear the word of God. According to Malachi chapter 4. Malachi chapter 4. It said, for behold, for behold, the day cometh. That shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yeah, and all that do wickedly shall be stumbled, and the day that cometh shall burn them up, said the Lord of hosts, that shall leave them neither root nor branch. Listen, verse 2. It said, But unto you, child of God. Child of God, listen. God said, But unto you, but unto you, you that is watching Gagal, you that is with the lioness, you that have joined this platform. The Bible says, God said, I should speak to you. The God of the Bible, the God of Gagal, the God of the lioness, the God 
of this altar, say I should speak to you that unto you that fear his name, that unto you that reverend him, that unto you that has been waiting upon him all this while, he said, But unto you that fear his name shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings, and you shall go forth and grow up as a calf in the store. He said, And you shall tread down the wicked, for they shall be ashes under your souls of your feet. And the day that I shall do this, said the Lord, said they shall be as ashes. That hepatitis is, is going to be as ashes under your feet. Those, uh, uh, how do you call it? Ah, uh, diabetes. <laughs> diabetes coronavirus is going to be ashes under your feet that says the lord that is the word from the mouth of fellow him he say you that fears his name you that have been watching upon waiting upon him you that have put praise your trust and your hope in him he said every sickness is going to be ashes under your show he said it's going to be ashes god is saying it is going to be ashes the evil powers and the witches and wizards that are behind this sickness they are going to be brought to low. God is putting that under your feet. God is putting stroke under your feet. He's putting numbness under your feet. Migraine that has been repeating itself in your life. That says the Lord. He is going to be under your feet. Either it's a man or a woman. Confusion is going to be under your feet. You tread upon them. You are going to tread upon them. From today, I release power for you to tread on every sickness that has been draining you. Every sickness, every attack on your health. Every attack on your health. Every attack on your health. Every attack that is troubling you. Whether it is asthma, whether it is stomach ache, whether it is headache, whether it is migraine, whether it is sciatica, whether it is bipolar syndromes, whether it is complications of childbirth, my God I command it, let it surrender, let it surrender, let it surrender, let it bow let it bow, let it bow let it surrender, let it surrender, I command it let it bow, under your feet under your feet, by power and authority, let it bow, let it bow let it bow, every liability that is moving from one body place to the other, that is moving from the head to the toe that is moving from the neck down to the chest down to your rib down to your upper abdomen down to your back down to your spinal cord my god i command you to surrender and live by the mention of our name of jesus christ the name that is above every other name on earth i command you to surrender and live dementia I command you to surrender and live. Dementia. I command you to surrender and live. Bipolar syndrome. Ah, hey, surrender and live. Surrender and live. Surrender and live. Oh, variances under the sound of this atmosphere. This atmosphere. This atmosphere. This ministry have been limited from January to December. Because of the miracles that God is doing. It is time. It is time. Let everything surrender. 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 And leave you. Surrender. And leave you. Dementia. Surrender. And disappear. Surrender. And disappear. Surrender. Surrender and disappear. Autism. Surrender and disappear. Surrender and disappear. Surrender and disappear. Right now. He got a double. Zebra and day. Rabba baba. Lake Capia day. Maca payadosa. Lentorbo masun diama. So brocotolian tama macapa. By the lifting of our hands, we command you. We take up a hand over you. Leave our life. Leave our children, leave our home, leave our family, leave our home, leave our life, leave our children, drive them away, drive them away, mention their names, any disease that you, we, we have to drive, we cannot carry them to 2022, start writing their names, start writing their names, start listing them, we drive them away, and that this atmosphere, our TB complications, we drive you away, we drive you away, we drive you away, stomach ulcer, we drive you away, we drive you away. Away. We drive you away. Autism. We drive you away. We drive you away. We drive you away. Numbness. Numbness. We drive you away. We drive you away. Infertility. You are a sport. We command you. Leave this ministry.
ministry, leave this ministry, leave this platform, leave the life of God's children. My God, start mentioning their name. Stop calling their name. Stop calling their name. Bipolar syndromes. My God. My God. Bipolar syndrome. Back pain. Back pain. I command you. By power and authority. Disappear. 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 By power and authority. Disappear. I command you. I command you. Disappear. 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 Diabetes. Right now, disappear. High blood pressure. We command you surrender and disappear. High blood pressure. We command you surrender. Disappear. 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 Body pain. We command you surrender. Disappear. Disappear. Heaviness in one part of the body. Hey, we command you by power and authority, leave the body, leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it, leave them, leave them, leave them, come out from them, come out. I command you by power and authority, Lord development, my God, out, out, pinball in your leg, my God, you that pinball, he I command to melt and come out, disappear. Disappear, 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 disappear. Da, 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 da. Ah, weak of the bone, weakness in the bone, weakness in the bone, dementia. I command you by power and authority. Disappear, disappear, disappear. Arthritis, leg cabian day, hynia, nervous complications. Zuri Makatayama, sickle cell. Ra, ba, 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 ba. I command you under this atmosphere. Live their life, live their life, go out and never return again. Come out, swelling feet, swelling feet, leg cabia dem, macapaya dosa, lentorpo, masun diamond, so brocotol, yantan mama capa, HIV AIDS, hepatitis B. We command you, we command you, candidiasis, incurable candidiasis. Ah, 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 ah. Pains in the leg, in the waist, waist pain, severe waist pain, pains in the joint. Right now, right now, right now, we command you, we command you, we command you, disappear by fire, disappear by fire, disappear by fire. Rabababa, leg cabiade, my capayadosa, right now, the healing hand of Elohim is touching you all. The healing hand of Elohim, a sleeping paralysis, one of you that thing today i suck it away from your life i drive it away i drive it away i drive it away severe nightmare nightmare ah, hey, hey. it is going out it is disappearing my god 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 chest pain you chest pain you are un under i are you your judgment have come i release fire on your head down to your toe chest pain i know you are human being i know you are exposed the father you can live in people you can hear me i command you every pain from the head down to the toe pains in the chest pains in the head pains in the stomach disappear 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 pains in your joint arthritis rabababa leg cabiande macapayadosa lentonopo masun diamond so procotol yantanma macapam lentonopo masun diamond so procotol yantanma macapam zori macatayaman le antanma macapiande macapayadosa right now right now holy ghost move around move around touch them touch them fire of god Fire of God, fire of God, melt every fat, excess fat.
fat, excess fat, excess fat, excess fat, excess fat, any gas in your belly, any oxygen, oh, gas, gas. Gas, excess gas in your belly that is troubling your health right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Disappear, 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 disappear right now. Like Kabiande, Makapaya Dosa, we are saying bye, bye to all bad dreams. Say bye to all bad dreams. We are saying goodbye, bye. Oh, just bye. How do you say it? Bye. Say bye to them. Bye to every problem. Bye to any anything on your head. I call it a burden. We are saying goodbye to them. <laughs> goodbye. Live our life in the name of Jesus Christ. It is coming up. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. It is coming out. Whatever seed the devil have gotten access to implant in you. <laughs> Whether it is a seed of asthma, those incurable diseases, excuse me, it's a seed. Incurable, it's a seed. When they plant in you, it begins to grow. It begins to grow and it begins to bear fruit. So it will start as diabetes. <laughs> Later you hear, oh, high blood pressure. Later you hear it has affected your kidney. Later you hear it has affected your waist. It, it, it's a seed. It says, see, say goodbye to them. Say goodbye to them. Say goodbye to them. Say goodbye to them. Every evil seed that has been implanted in you in the name of Jesus Christ. I approve to. I approve to. I approve to. I approve to. We say goodbye to you. Walk out of our life. Walk out of our life. Come out from them. Come out from them. Come out from them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, we are saying goodbye to all. Goodbye to stomach pain. Ulcer. Abnormalities. Abnormalities. Let everything be corrected. Problem with your menstrual cycle. Let it receive correction now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Premature menopause under the sound of my voice begin to flow. Any blockage is broken that tunnel in the name of Jesus Christ. Be unblocked. Be unblocked. Be unblocked. Be unblocked. Be unblocked. Be unblocked in the name of Jesus Christ. Brokages. Brokages. Crot abroad. Crot abroad. Crot abroad. Crot abroad in the name that is above every name. Begin to melt and flow. Any blood that is crot that doctors have, have, have diagonized to know it is crot. It is crot in the name of Jesus Christ. Begin to melt. 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 I want you to touch any area of your life that is being affected. I want you to touch with faith. Touch that place with faith. If it is your head, touch your head and say you had it disappear. If it is attracted, touch that place and say you arthritis disappear. If it is your kneel, touch your kneel and say you kneel pain from today come no more. If it is your abdomen, touch your abdomen. If it is barrenness, touch your womb. I want you to command your womb. We are commanding our body. We are taking dominion over our body part. We are taking authority over our body. You are taking authority over your head to declare to any body dwelling in your head, any power dwelling in your head, any foul spot dwelling in your head in the form of a headache. Say, I take authority over you. I command to disappear and return no more. I want you to speak with faith. Speak with faith. When you build a house, you have authority to evict your tenants. You have authority to evict them. You have authority to tell your tenant you cannot cook in this place. You have authority over your tenant. We, we have authority over our body. We are commanding. I want you to command that lambs in your breast.
that is causing problems, that blessed pain, the pains that you're feeling in your breast, I want you to command that pain and tell him from today, I take authority over you, you lambs living in my breast, live now, I command you, disappear now, I want you to touch your chest and say, you evil spot, seated on my chest area, troubling my heart, troubling my breath, in the name of Jesus Christ, I take authority over you, and I command Command you disappear now, disappear now, disappear now, disappear now, disappear now. You foul spot seated on my chest area, seated on my heart, troubling my heart, making it difficult for me to breathe well, making it difficult for me to breathe. I command you by authority, by authority, by authority, disappear, 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 disappear. Disappear, command them, disappear, headache, command them, disappear, migraine, command them, disappear, lower pain, command them, disappear, waist pain, touch there, command them, you waist pain, I take authority over you, I command you, live now in the name of Jesus Christ. We have 10 minutes to go, we have 10 minutes to go. <laughs> <clears throat> we have 10 minutes to go. I want us to pray <clears throat> for open doors. For open doors. There are some doors that has been shut from January to now. It is still shut. There are some doors that need to open for us in the year 2022. So we take authority over territories. So we take authority over territorial demons. Demons in charge of territories. Demons keeping the gate. Demons keeping the door. Evil spirit keeping the door. Evil spirit keeping the door. We take authority. We take authority. We take authority over you. And we command you. If at all, open the gate. Open the door. Open the door. If at all, we command you. By power and authority. Open my doors for me. The doors that you've shut. From January to now, to make me remain in one position, like those that are buried, that are, that are dead of age, I command you, you broken my door, leave my way, by power and authority, I command you, you bringing limitation upon my life, leave my way, open my door, open my door, I command you, you bringing setbacks and stagnation, you demon, you power, you evil spirit, in charge of stagnation, I take authority over you, I take dominion over you and I command you surrender, surrender and live my way, live my way live my way, clear my way clear off my way, clear off my way clear off my way, clear off my way clear off my way, move to the bottomless pit in the name of Jesus Christ you human tree, human obstacle you human obstacle standing on my way you human obstacle broken me. You human obstacle on my way. You that is a hindrance to my forward movement. You that is a hindrance to my next level. I take dominion over you and I command you open the door for me to go. Lift up your head, O ye gate. Be ye lifted everlasting doors. Lift up your head, O ye financial doors. Lift up your head, O ye financial doors. Lift up your head, O ye doors. Be ye lifted, ye everlasting Lasting gate, lift up your head, O ye gate, and be ye lifted, ye everlasting doors, be ye lifted of my life, be ye lifted of my ministry, be ye lifted of my finances, be ye lifted of my marriage, be ye lifted of my destiny, be ye lifted, ye everlasting doors that has been shut to make things difficult for me, doors to opportunity, doors to strategic relationship, doors. Ah, ah, to the next level, we command that door. If I can, I want you to say, if I can, I want you to say, if I can, let every door, 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 if I can, every door that is shut, let Kabiande, Makapayatosa. 
Lentorobo masun diamond. Zo broko to lianta ma makapa. Lentorobo masun diamond. Zo broko to lianta ma makapa. Lentorobo masun diamond. Every dawn, if a time, 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 financial doors, if a time, if a time, if a time, if a time, every gate that is shut, international gate. Grow bad doors that is shut, that is shut, that is shut. Every Jericho that is shut. My God, if a time, 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 if a time. Right now, lift your head, lift your head. Jericho's fall, fall, resi, disappear, disappear, parting and disappear, parting and disappear. Jericho's disappear. Disappear, 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 disappear. He got a rabba 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 ba. Disappear. We command you by power and authority. Disappear right now. He got a rabba rabba. He got a rabba rabba. Disappear by fire. Disappear, disappear. She does. Ye Jericho, standing in front of me, disappear right now. Disappear. Let my door, let my way be cleared. Let my way be cleared. Let the crooked places be straight by fire. Let it be straight. The crooked places, the crooked places, the crooked places. Let it be straight. Let it be straight. The crooked places. Let it be straight. The valleys, the valleys, the valleys, the valleys. Let it be filled up. 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 The crooked places in front of you. The crooked places in your destiny. Be straightened. Be straightened. Be straightened. Be straightened. Be straightened. Be straightened. The crooked places. He da The high mountains. The mountains in front of you. Let it disappear. Let mountains disappear. Let every mountain disappear. Let every mountain disappear. Let every valley be filled up. Every valley. Let God go before his people. Let God go before his people and make every crooked place straight as he did for his dear beloved. Oh, Cyrus, as he released unto him riches of hidden places. Ah, hidden treasures. Let God release hidden treasures now. Let God release. Ah, riches. Riches, new streams of income, new streams of income, new streams of ideas, new streams of ideas, new streams of income, new streams of income. Let it be released. 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 Let the crooked places, my God, be straightened, be straightened, be straightened. Double blessing, double promotion, double promotion, double favor, double mantle, double anointing, double portion, double portion. Let it be released. Let there be rain. Let there be rain. Let there be rain. Let there be rain. We declare by authority. Let there be rain. Let there be rain. Let there be rain. Let there be rain on our desert places in the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be rain on our desert places. Let our land Begin to bear good fruit for us. Let our land begin to bear good fruit. Take your water right now. Our time is up. I, I don't want to spend much of the data because I want to reserve some for preaching. Yes. I want to reserve some for preaching. God bless our sister. It is somebody that gave me data three days today. That is why you see me fire the, the past three days. It's not easy. Somebody just dashed me data and I, I, it was a surprise. So I preach with confidence. <laughs> yes. God bless you. My dear sister, God bless you. You will never lack. You will never lack. You will never lack. As far as this ministry will go, God will take your children afar. <clears throat> as far as people afar will hear the voice of the lioness, people will hear the voice of your children. That is from me to you. God bless you. Take your water. Take your water. Take your water right now. Everybody take a cup of water. Take a cup of water. We've started a fast, you know, today is 30th. As soon as you enter the 30th, don't eat. Our three days fasting. 30th, 
30th, 31st, and the 1st. The new year, you will fast. You will do something new. The new year, we will do something new. Coming new year, we want to do the second donation for the widows. So if you were not able to go with us on the first one, the letter you have, bring it for the second one. Build something. Plant something. The new year, we want to bless widows. We want to bless widows. We have done the first part. We are going to do the second part. That is the new year. So you can add yours. If you are not able to donate towards the first one, please do your best to send something towards the second one. I'll put the, the uh, foundation account details. If you need it, just send me a message on WhatsApp. I will send you the details. And the little God prays on your heart. Sow a seed in the life of a widow. And God Almighty will bless you. 30th, 31st, 1st is fasting. 30th, 31st, 1st. So as soon as you enter 30th, don't eat. As soon as you enter 30th, depending on your time and your location, do not eat. And I've told you every Monday and every Thursday is fasting for Giga. Every Monday and every Thursday is fasting. During Mondays and Thursday, due to the new arrangement, we will try, if the Zoom will function, we'll go live on Zoom <coughs> for the afternoon prayers. For Mondays and Thursdays, we will be having it on Zoom. We'll be having, but our midnight prayers, you have it live on Facebook. You have it live on Facebook. If you have not followed the page, follow the page. If you have not liked the page, like it. Yes, if you have not shared, share it. Be a sharer. The year that we are about to enter, be a transformed person. Be a person that will love the things of God. And that is what will take you through. Be the kind of person that will love the things of God. The year 2022, that is a direction for us to break through. The year, no matter what will come, don't get scared. Be the kind of person that will love the things of God. And that is all. That is your secret weapon to fight the year 2022. As you fought and finish this year, you will fought and finish the year 2022 in grace, in faith, and in power and in strength. Lift up your water. Father, this is the water before you. Let this be the water of life. As your children drink this water to refresh their throat, Father, refresh everything dead in them. As your children drink this water, let the power that resurrected the dry bones through the mouth of your prophet, Father, let that power be rest upon this water. In the name of Jesus Christ, as your children drink this water, oh Lord, let everything dead in them come back to life. Let their kidney that is dead come back to life. Let their lungs come back to life. Let their liver come back to life. Let their, their, their intestine come back to life. Let their wounds come back to life. Let everything that is dead in your people, from the crown of your, their head to the sole of their feet, Father, let it receive life in the name of Jesus Christ. I will I release your healing power, your resurrection power that resurrected the dead man, ah, Lazarus, from his grave. I release it upon this water in the hand of your people. When they drink it, let the weakest person among us say, I am strong. Let the one that is grieving, that came here with heaviness in heart, let the person say, I have been relieved. Let the one that came here with severe pain say, the pain have disappeared. Let the one that came here without hope, as they take this water, Father, give them hope. Let the one that came here with complicated problems, with a, 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 with a, a, a health issue that is troubling them, Father, as they take this water, let them testify your goodness. As your children take this water in their hand, let your goodness and mercy manifest in their life. Let every hidden thing come out. Let everything that has been buried, Father, let it be uncovered. As they take this water, Father, redeem their spiritual life. As they take this water, activate their dream life. As they lay their head down, Father, take them afar. Reveal to them hidden secrets. Reveal to them the plans of the enemy concerning their destiny and the destinies of their family. As they take this water, give them testimony to come and share on the altar of Gega. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, I pray for you all. Amen. Take your water as you prepare to go. God bless you. God bless you. As you have taken this water, I want to pray for give us in this ministry. Partners all over the world. 
partners all over the world, sons and daughters that has been giving us data to function. Anybody that lives in Saudi Arabia know that you cannot operate or lie if you are not rich. Anybody in Saudi Arabia will tell you that operating with data in Saudi Arabia is not a small battle. But God, glory be to God, many people have taken upon their life to give me freely without me asking them. May God bless you. Whenever you've been taking money to support all our doings, may God bless you. Everywhere that you've been taking that money from, whether to support uh, the, the foundation or to support evangelism or to support the outreach, whatever means that you are supporting this ministry, Whatever means you are using to push me afar, may it be remembered in the presence of God. As God remembered the generosity of the man that did not deserve the visitation of God, may God visit you. May God remember in times of difficulties. As the book of remembrance was open unto Mordecai for him to be promoted in the evening of your day. May God remember the graces upon my head. May God remember everything that you sowed in my life and in the life of my children. In times of difficulties, may God remember that you have once given to his servant. And may he reward you as he has declared to us that whoever he Whoever received a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive the blessings of a prophet. May you receive the blessings of ministry. May your cup overflow. May your oil upon your head overflow. May the favor upon your life never cease in the name of Jesus Christ. Titus in this ministry, I covenant with God on your behalf. May your business never collapse. May you never go down financially. May you never go down financially. Wherever you've been taking money to pay tight, tightest in this ministry is not for the, for the woman of God. Tightest are, the tight is what we gather to donate. When you see us donating all over, it is people's tight. It is not only my money. It is people's wealth. It is people's investment. As people are saying, God bless you, God bless you. May God bless you. May all the blessings that is coming from the mouth of all those people that you've been blessing, may it work in your life. May it manifest in the year 2022. May God open the floodgates and rain abundance. May God rain upon your handwork. May God rain upon everything that you are doing. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, I pray for you all. Amen. Let me put the WhatsApp before we go. This is my WhatsApp number. Plus two three three five four four nine four seven two seven three plus two three three five four four nine four seven two seven three. That is my number. Uh, that is our number. Plus two three three five four four nine four seven two seven three. Those in Kenya, if you want to give your donation, I'll give you the impressa. Those in South Africa, if you want to bless a widow, I'll give you Capitec bank details. Those in Namibia, I'll give you. Those in uh, Zambia, we will give you. Wherever you are, just let us know where you are. Uh, Liberia, you have to, one of you have to sacrifice to be an agent or a partner there. Those in Liberia, yes, now we are getting members from all over the world. We are getting members from all over the world. Those in the United States of America, if you want to give, I will give you the zilly. Just send me a message on WhatsApp. Send me a message on WhatsApp. If you want to bless a widow, if you want to bless a widow in this uh, new year, just you can do it through the zilly. You, they, they will transfer to the foundation account in Ghana. If you deposit in uh, South Africa, whatever you deposit, you will have it, and the widows will have it, and God Almighty will bless you. If you want to give me data, $20, $30, $10, to buy data to preach the gospel, you can do it through SendWave, through World Remit, through RIA, through Western Union, through MoneyGram. Just send me a message on WhatsApp. Whatever God has laid on your heart to bless the altar with, just put it, and God Almighty will bless you. Lift up your hand as you share the grace and go. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ 
the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. So help me God. Amen. God bless you. God willing, tomorrow we will meet. The three days we are going to meet. We will meet till the three days is over. Yes, yeah, so tomorrow, embark on your fasting. 31st, do it. On the 1st of January, do it. Yes. On the 1st of January, do your fasting. If you can do from morning to evening, from morning to afternoon, depending on your strength, do it as God directs you. God bless you. If I say, I want all of us on this platform to please don't forget to mention our mama in prayers. God bless you. Keep me in prayer because the, the fight is not a small fight. The fight is, a, is not a small fight. Yes. Mm -hmm. God bless you so much. If you go to YouTube, do where to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Do where to subscribe. Shalom. Love you all. See you on WhatsApp. Bye-bye.